Hello friends, today we will be starting with studies on cables, the cables which are used for suspension bridges. Whenever we say suspension bridges, a very beautiful example comes to our mind and that is Gokak bridge. Gokak is a suspension type of bridge which you see at the Gokak Falls. So to start with the studies, let us first try to draw a simple diagram showing various elements and various forces acting on a suspension bridge. Let these two are the towers. This tower supports or has to support a road or a deck slab over which some form of transportation or anything happens. Now, in order to support this deck slab, you need to have a support system and that is provided by cable. So, this we can have a cable running from one end to another end. This is called as suspension cable. But this cable cannot be supported only there. These cables need to be tied inside the soil, inside the foundation. Hence, at this end, the cable is extended and fixed or tied inside the soil. So, this cable is called as anchor cable. So, similar anchor cables are provided on other sides also. Now this deck slab, it is supported by vertical suspenders like this. So these are called as suspenders. All the loads it is taken by this suspension cable. On this suspension cable, the suspenders are put and the suspenders support this deck slab. Deck slab or so this is the typical diagram of a suspension cable. Now let us try to identify the various forces acting on a suspension cable. Suppose this is a suspension cable. This suspension cable. supports a deck slab let that road load of the road or deck slab be represented by udl w the forces acting on this are horizontal force h vertical component v b now this is support a so vertical component is v a horizontal component is h This distance is span L of the cable bridge. Lowest point, say this point is C. So distance of lowest point from the level of the supports is called as D. And that is dip. Here D indicates dip. In cable arches, in arches it was rise H. Here it is dip D. Now let us try to find some equations and formulas for various forces tension in the cable t max maximum tension in the cable is given by v square plus h square where v is maximum vertical reaction so, VA and VB, whichever is the maximum that you have to consider, H is horizontal reaction. So, 
second size of the cable size of the cable is determined by using simple equation of strength of materials stress is given by force by area stress is equal to force per unit area force divided by cross sectional area let tau be the stress stress is equal to force t max divided by pi by 4 d dash square where d dash is dia of cable tau is the stress so for a given material we know what is the maximum stress that material can take so we know t t max you know tau we can cal calculate d dash now let us identify the equations to calculate length of the cable again here two cases are possible so first case supports are at same level then in that case say length of the cable is yes length of the cable yes is equal to l plus 8 by 3 d square by l so remember here s is the inclined length of the cable l is span d is dip case 2 supports are at different levels let me draw a diagram say this is one support so our supports are like this both the supports this is a tower top tower top of one and two they are at different levels so how do you analyze this let this be the horizontal line and this is the second horizontal let this be lowest point now this dip this distance is denoted by l1 this distance is denoted by l2 similarly this dip is d1 and this dip is taken as d2 now in this case length of the cable inclined length s is given by l plus 2 by 3 d1 square by l1 plus d2 square by l2 now let us calculate forces in the cable when you want to calculate forces in the cable there are two cases possible for the top conditions of the tower the location where the suspension cable touches the top of the tower case 1 cable passes over smooth pulley let us try to draw an ex drawing of it say this is a pulley and this is supported on a tower let this be the tower this be the horizontal line so my tower cable will have two parts like this since 
सेम केबल इज पासिंग फ्रॉम पुली दिस केबल पास लाइक दिस सिंस सेम केबल इज पासिंग थ्रू द पुली सेम टेंशन फोर्स टी एक्स फॉर सस्पेंशन केबल एज वेल एज एंकर केबल दिस पार्ट ऑफ द केबल इज कॉल्ड एज सस्पेंशन केबल एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ द केबल इज कॉल्ड एज एंकर केबल लेट दिस बी टावर ए दिस इज थीटा ए एंगल मेड बाय एंकर केबल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू हॉरिजोंटल लेट दिस बी थीटा यस एंगल मेड बाय सस्पेंशन केबल विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू हॉरिजोंटल सो दिस इनक्लाइन फोर्स आई कैन रिजॉल्व इन टू टू पार्ट्स हॉरिजोंटल वर्टिकल सिमिलरली हॉरिजोंटल वर्टिकल थीटा यस इज गिवन बाय टेन इनवर्स वी बाय एच लेट हाइट ऑफ द टेबल इज गिवन बाय एच हाइट ऑफ द टावर दिस हाइट थीटा ए विद एंगल मेड बाय एंकर केबल एट टावर ए थीटा यस एंगल मेड बाय सस्पेंशन केबल नाउ सिंस टेंसाइल फोर्स इज सेम ऑन both the sides of tower because same cable is passing over therefore i can say net horizontal force on tower is equal to t cos theta s minus t cos theta a so i am going to consider this resolution and this resolution so these are the horizontal component of the forces vertical force on tower is equal to t sin theta s plus t sin theta a moment on the tower is equal to net horizontal force force into perpendicular distance that is net horizontal force into height h of the tower now let us consider case 2 cable is connected to roller or set so let us draw a typical diagram of it say this is the saddle support this is resting on the rollers below that is the tower let us show the cable over it let this be the anchor cable this be the suspension cable let theta s be the angle made by suspension cable theta a be the angle made by 
anchor cable so this is anchor cable this is suspension cable now i'll resolve these forces into vertical and horizontal again here theta s is equal to tan inverse v by h this is how you calculate theta s since i am providing roller supports here roller supports are provided this is called as saddle since i am providing roller supports this can move freely in horizontal direction hence summation of vertical forces in horizontal direction will be zero since roller support net horizontal force is equal to zero therefore i can write the equation summation h is equal to zero now let me write the summation h is equal to zero for these two individual forces let this be t a anchor cable a so i can write t cos theta s is equal to t a cos theta a so similarly total vertical force is equal to t sin theta s plus t a sin theta a since horizontal force on the tower is zero moment at base of the tower is zero moment is force into perpendicular distance since perpendicular distance is since horizontal force is zero moment will also be zero so using all these equations and concepts we'll start with the numericals in the next class thank you